Hey everybody, welcome back to Jay's Car Channel. Got another Crown Vic video for you. Uh, today I'm just doing some maintenance on this vehicle. I'm gonna do the things that I typically do on just about every car I've got, if, if possible. Uh, there are about four things that I try to do that are fairly easy. Uh, the first thing is to check the air filter on the engine, make sure it's not clogged or dirty. If it is, either clean it out or replace it. It's usually just easier just to replace them. The second thing is the mass airflow sensor. I want to check and make sure that it's not dirty or filthy and you can clean that relatively easy with some uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner which is uh, readily available at any parts store. The third thing is the throttle body. Clean the throttle body. Same thing with the uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner. You can get throttle body cleaner at just about any auto parts store. Pretty easy to use. You just spray it in. You can use something to agitate with. In this case I'm going to actually take the throttle body off the vehicle to make it easier to clean. And the uh, fourth thing is the PCV valve, which is located on the passenger side valve cover. So those are the four things, and um, I'm going to show you how to do that on this 2011 Crown Vic. There's a tons of videos out there on this, but you know, I figure I'd do one just to kind of put all those four things together. First thing is the air filter, so pretty easy to pop this box. You just have two little clips here, unclip those, and then lift up and then you it's hinged at the back so you just need to rotate it out of those little clips in the back and then here's your filter and this one it's dusty but it's uh not too bad and i'm gonna actually clean the inside of this box since it's fairly dirty a lot of dirt and debris in there just want to get that out. You know, you could hose this out. Um, main thing is you just don't want to get a lot of water into these areas. So I'm just going to do it this way. You can vacuum it out. You can do a lot of different ways of cleaning this, but this just seemed to be the quickest and easiest way. So that's the way I'm doing it. Do it however you feel is the best way. The mass airflow sensor is connected on the top of this air box and what I find the easiest way to do to handle this is to um, loosen this screw here on this little clamp and then you can remove the uh, move the hose remove the hose and you can turn the box to where you can get at this clip a lot easier and it's just got a little lock on it so you just use your finger and pull that lock down and press down on the tab and it comes right off so now you got access i'm actually clean the inside of this box as well spray some uh, all-purpose cleaner into a microfiber <clears throat> let's go in here and clean this out it's just lightly dusty but same time just clean as much as you can clean you know it's a good idea <clears throat> so now I got this mass airflow sensor I can, I can take some mass airflow cleaner <clears throat> here's the bottle mass airflow sensor cleaner and you've got a little window and just hit it with some mass airflow sensor cleaner and be liberal with it you know and it dries really quickly and it's safe that's about enough i don't want to saturate it too much but i let this dry set this off to the side <clears throat> and now i'm gonna actually go to the uh, PCV valve and check it. So it's right here, this little tab here, just push back and it should pop off, pop right off and you can rotate it out of the way and uh, take a little plier and this one sounds pretty good. what you want to hear but I'm actually gonna 
spray some mass airflow sensor cleaner into this and uh, try and clean it out a little bit too. Sounds good. Stick this on top of the shop towel and just set it down. So now to move on to the uh, throttle body. These clips are similar to the ones on the mass airflow sensor. They have a lock on them. So you just take your finger, pull those tabs back. This one behind the throttle body. Just pull out. You don't have to be forceful with it. Be gentle, you don't want to break this. And then right above the lock, you just want to push down and it should unclip. Then you just kind of wiggle it and come right off. Just got that one. And then this one's the same way. There's a little tab above the lock. Push in, pull back, good to go. And here's another. Now this is a 2011, so yours may be different, but this one has a little uh, positive crankcase return ventilation here, clean side. And I think that's what it is. And Similar to the PCV valve on the uh, passenger side, it just has a little tab that you push down and then you pull right off, easy enough. And then I've already loosened the screw, but you know, basically just take a flathead screwdriver and loosen this clamp here. And then you should be able to uh, take the hose off. So now that's out of the way. And now you got four 5 16 bolts that you need to remove on the throttle body. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Break it loose. I like to break them loose first. Might need to get a longer extension for these. these lower bolts first they come out stick them up here on the cowl As you take the top bolts out, you'll notice this thing will be ready to come off pretty quickly. So I like to put my hand right here and just support it so that when it does come out, this one's just barely hanging. Here we go. So this is what the back of it looks like and you got a, uh, a little gasket here and it has you'll notice these little tabs that go into the uh, throttle plate so there's only one way to put this back in and this one looks pretty grimy so I'm gonna get to cleaning it you know just take some throttle body cleaner and I'll take that in a shop rag put this PCV valve back in while I'm doing this Make sure it's tight. Just wanna make sure that's tight in there. Let's get in there good. Take your top of your hose, pop that back on. That's in there. Good to go. Throttle body and air intake cleaner. Clean this thing up. You can even use mass airflow sensor cleaner. It's all pretty much about the same. And uh, let's give this a good shake. Let's 
spray it in there real good. Take your shot towel and get to cleaning. The toothbrush works well also, but I couldn't find an old toothbrush. Most of mine are brand new, so didn't want to ruin a toothbrush on this. I want to breathe this stuff in, either it's really strong. So I might recommend wearing, you know, something over your face to keep from breathing this chemical in. Looks pretty good. Probably clean this side too. I think this stuff's melting my uh, gloves. It's so strong. Yep, definitely is. Yep, all right. It's done with the throttle body. It does look a lot cleaner. And I'm gonna to get into the uh, back behind the throttle body a little it's kind of funky right there spray in there and clean that junk off that's pretty much it the installation is just the reverse of all this uh, one thing I do believe that the uh, throttle body is supposed to be torqued to somewhere around nine foot pounds. So you don't want to put a lot of torque on it. Just, you know, go easy, get it snug in there and you should be good. I mean, even if you don't have a torque wrench, I'm going to um, go through all that now and let you guys see that, I guess. So again, this has only one way of going in. You find those little nibs that are on here. Match them up with the throttle plate. Probably get some screws started on here. Just so you can line this up. And then get them started. You can just start them by hand, you know? Probably be better to have a little impact driver to do this with but I was too lazy to get that out too Nine pounds. You want to work in a crisscross pattern, so start from the top left. All right, and go down to the bottom. go up to the top there we go and then your last one on the bottom left hand corner there we go so she's back in man that took forever by now this mass airflow sensor should be bone dry let's see if i can knock some dust out of that dust came out all right before i start working on that reconnect your clips so here's your Proposition sensor clip, I believe. 
There's your little clip on the back. So reconnect these two clips. You want to get this thing down in these little grooves down here. There we go. Take your mass airflow sensor clip. Pop that back in. Relock it. Clamps here. Clamped in. And now this hose. So I'm gonna pop it on the mass airflow sensor. Leave that loose. Come up here. Last lined up. I'm gonna get my ratchet and tighten that thing up. This takes a 5 16th. Line that thing up. Tighten it up, put your PCV system clamp back in, and now got your mass airflow connected, got your box tightened down, now you can tighten this clamp. And get that tight. So that's on there good, and we're good to go. Now the next thing to do is start her up and make sure everything's running fine. That's pretty much it. I feel like I'm about to die. Oh yeah, one other thing. I did disconnect the negative battery cable before I started all this work. You don't want to throw the engine off based on the parameters it's using as of right now. So this will set it back to zero as far as I know. Now that might not be 100% accurate, but it's been what I've always followed. So. You know, you guys out there can tell me I'm wrong or tell me I'm right. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I just follow this as a practice. I've seen mechanics do it. So if they do it, it's good enough for me. So anyway, put your battery cable back on. Tighten it up. Another thing, it's 5 16th will work on, I believe. Tighten her up. tight I'm gonna take this microfiber and do some cleaning here water always gets down in this little groove here and makes it look funky so I like to clean that off see there's water this collects in there clean it off clean it off all right here we go moment of truth uh, checking everything this plug deck back in, this is plugged back in, that's plugged back in, you're back in. Tight here. Alrighty, battery connected. Here we go. No check engine lights, that's a good thing take these gloves off those are trash so the next thing I'm gonna do is take this thing around the block for a little spin probably just make sure it's still running as expected or hopefully better and uh, yeah I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna end the video here because I've demonstrated what I wanted to demonstrate and uh, hope this helps you guys yeah, and these are just the four little things I like to do to my cars to keep them running nice and they're just easy things to do you know your your air filter your mass airflow sensor your throttle body and your PCV valve if your car is equipped you know if you got a four-cylinder I think a lot of those cars don't have a PCV valve per se any V8 V6 they're gonna have a positive crankcase ventilation system it's just the way the motors are are engineered so um, I think it's something that probably gets overlooked a lot and real easy to uh, maintain you know usually you just got a little clip that you got to deal with and pop the PCV valve out and you know make sure it's operating properly or replace it you know if it's not or clean it whatever you want to do so uh, so anyway thanks for watching the video and uh, see you guys on the next one thanks so much